Okay. Just feel like talking a little bit. I'm trying to wake the fuck up today. <laughs> I'm drinking some coffee. Mm. Oh, I don't drink coffee every morning. A lot of times I'm pretty awake in the morning. I tend to be kind of a morning person, I guess. But oh my god, I'm just like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Mm. I was looking at my tarot cards this morning. I got. I got the fool like over and over and over again, like three or four times. Mm. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> mm. I don't have like a clear theory about, I don't know, like a determined theory about what tarot reading even is or how it works or whatever. Like, I don't know, I have like five different theories. I just kind of do it, <laughs> so I don't know, but it's like, like if I thought that someone was communicating with me, I'll be like, okay, I get it. Sometimes I like to pretend that's what is happening. <laughs> like somebody wanted me to know that today. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, this might be a boring video. I'm so tired. <laughs> Keep seeing that eraser head box and thinking of uh, <laughs> this post on Facebook. It was somebody did a screen capture of um, the description of description of a racer head on their satellite or something. It was so funny. It was like his hair stands up and his girlfriend's baby looks like a larva. <laughs> that was the description. That was super funny. <laughs> That's a hilarious description. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hmm, my rainbow bright shirt. Glad I have this now. Do do do. <laughs> Oh. My boyfriend and I went to an antique mall this weekend, and there's this guy working there that was like all oh, in love with my hair. He's like asking me, Josh, you better feel my hair. <laughs> oh, I should move so fast, it's so blurry on this camera. Anyway. He, he was like in love with my hair. I was wearing my camo jacket and he's like saying that my hair went with it and stuff. And he was asking me how I got it to be like this, which all I did was like I had dyed it, you know, bleached it and dyed it another color that washed out. Then I dyed it this color. Then it's just growing out, that's all. <laughs> but anyway. He was excited about it, and then, and then, like, like that was when we were walking around. Then we went to check out, and he was like, "I love your look." <laughs> it was awesome. So, I it was funny because like th that day I was thinking about dyeing my hair again, and then I was like, "Don't want to mess it up." <laughs> so, yeah, apparently I have a great look. 
Alright, let's move it down. <laughs> Oh, uh, in one of my other videos, Ted pointed out that, my boyfriend Ted pointed out that this bong was in the background the whole time. <laughs> it was funny because it was the video where I was like, I moved to Seattle, you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm. Legal here. So that's pretty cool. So it's the first time, it's the first time I've ever smoked pot, like, um, two months ago was the first time. It's kind of interesting. Like, there are definitely similarities to drinking a lot or something. I guess just that's what they call being high. You can be high from a lot of different things. So, like, that part is familiar, I guess, but. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting feeling. Like, the first time I did it, I, I was like, I really exaggeratedly felt like my body was like a balloon. <laughs> I felt like really tall in the room. <laughs> like the room was getting really small because I was like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was really funny. Um. But pretty much after that, it hasn't been like that. I, have, I just feel like, uh... Sometimes I'm just sleepy. Really sleepy. Um... And I always want to eat a lot of snacks, but... I kind of like that all the time. <laughs> and... It just... Well... It makes my, I don't know, I don't know, it's funny, it's funny how it's not the same experience every time, so, which I think is interesting. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> oh. These videos can be very interesting to watch. <laughs> but I still like making them. <laughs> oh, I guess as long as I'm happy doing it, then it doesn't matter if anybody watches it. But... Makes me feel weird sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, why am I doing this? But maybe, maybe those are the times that I shouldn't be doing it, so. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything very interesting to say. Now I feel like I'm ruining the video. I keep talking about the video. <laughs> Today I'm going to walk to the store and get some groceries. I'm probably going to stop at this pawn shop along the way, see if I can pawn some old games that I have that I don't want. Um, then whatever they don't take, probably just take to Goodwill or something or Bally Village. That's the closest store to me right now. I have to think of some stuff that I want to eat for groceries. Sometimes I try to plan a list or think of meal ideas, but I think today I might just go to the store as long as I go, like, so that I have enough time to take as long as I need. Um, I just go there and see if I get any good ideas while I'm there. to be fun. Right now I don't really haven't thought of anything much. I keep thinking what I'm saying is so boring. Why am <laughs> 
that's why I'm talking on a video, not to a person, I guess. I don't know. I just like talking my thoughts out. <laughs> oh. I feel like all the people whose videos I watch have specific things to say. But, I don't know. I also watch a lot of people who just do, like, some of my favorite videos are when people do Q&As or, like, tags where they just talk about themselves. So, maybe I could do more tags. Since I don't have, like, people, enough people <laughs> who know who I am to, like, do Q&As for them. Um, yeah. But... If you ever watch my videos and you want to give me topic ideas or ask me questions, then that could be fun. I would totally do that. Now, one of my subscribers <laughs> was talking to me about um, the anxiety stuff that I mentioned in one of my videos. Seems like a lot of people do have trouble with anxiety. It's kind of a weird thing. Definitely kind of a weird thing to deal with. Cause it's like, um, like I was telling him, I well, in the Teal Swan videos, she talks about anxiety. She has one about that, which is pretty good. If you have, like, things like that, anxiety, or other kinds of little, you know, guilt, or, like, other kind of motion, emotion things that you're trying to work out, like, I really like her videos, and you can pretty much find them on a lot of different things. She has good reasoning and stuff. I mean, like, if you're not into, like, metaphysical stuff, sometimes she, you know, does kind of go into like a weird dreamland with that part but um but even then like like even if you just think of it as analogies and ways of picturing things instead of thinking that she's like telling you about science or something then it's not that big of a deal uh but but like her mental health stuff is really helpful if you're want to try to work on things by yourself, you know. She has really good suggestions, and it's like real clear, and they're short, you know. So, anyway, I like those videos a lot, and, uh, yeah, so she, she talks about anxiety, and she talked about it, like, um, anxiety, like, and panic and stuff. It's like, um, an emotion about an emotion. You know, so it's like, anxiety is a cover emotion to something else, like, um, if you're, I don't know, worrying, or you're afraid, or you are sad, or you have some kind of other feeling that you get scared about the feeling, or you're, you, you get, like, a panic, like, I shouldn't be feeling this, or I can't handle this feeling, or something like that, but it just, like, happens so fast, and then it, it like, escalates, so then... A lot of times, maybe you don't realize what the actual trigger was, or what what the original feeling or situation was that you actually started to get stressed about. Because like you're trying to repress it or something, and it's not working, and that's like part of the anxiety. That's I I thought that was a really great, like really insightful. Because for me, that definitely tends to be true, like, like, sometimes I, I don't know, I guess a lot of my thoughts, I have a lot of unconscious thoughts, and I don't realize what they are until I start to having, I start having emotional reactions to them, you know, like, anxiety, or like, physical reaction, because like, my stomach gets really tight, um, like really tensed up really bad when I'm 
get anxious and I'm trying to control my feelings or, I don't know, repress myself or whatever. It's weird. Um, so sometimes it's hard to get out of it. It's like, it's worse if, if you don't notice right when it's starting. If you don't notice until it's already at that level, you know, then like it's, it just gets really hard to stop it. Um, but again, like she says that even though, like, what you want is to stop it because it feels out of control, scary stuff, like, she says that, um, trying to stop it is what's making it worse, and that, like, you have to allow your feelings, you have to allow, you know, accept what's happening and stuff, instead of trying to fight it, and that's what, that's what kind of, you know, soothes it, you know, it's like, like, if you imagine feelings like that and panic like that as, like, something separate from you, like, something that you're observing, like, like it's your inner child or something, um, sometimes you can be a lot more supportive for yourself and, um, improve that kind of stuff a little better. Like figure out how to relate to those feelings from a place of love and like caring about yourself. Well, it's really hard sometimes, like I know for me, I, um, on my worst days, like when I'm having the hardest time with anxiety and um, with being happy or calm, it's, it's because I'm having trouble and like I need to be treated better, I need to treat myself kind, like, I need taken care of in some way, and, but part of me is just keeps rejecting it, you know, and doesn't, I don't think I should, I feel guilty, I'm like, I need to get stuff done, or something like that, and, it, and it's like, just fighting it, fighting, 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 and then, you know, it's like, it doesn't help, I still don't get much done when I'm like that, because I just, it just, I can't cope, like, once I, once I start getting anxious like that, I just crumble. And all I can do is just nothing, just to, like, cope. I've never had... I don't think that I've ever had a full, like, panic attack or anxiety attack, because I, I've never had, like... Like, people say it feels like you're having a heart attack or stuff like that. Like, I've never had it like that. Um, I've... I've had... I mean, I've had it so many times, though, where I, I literally can't cope. Like, I can just only cry, or, um, I'm just, like, sitting in the dark, crouching, holding my face, you know? <laughs> like, uh, so, I don't know, yeah, I don't know if that counts, but, <laughs> but I've had a lot of anxiety problems. So, anyways... Uh, yeah, I kind of lost my train of thought going on tangent there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, like, every single time, the thing that helps me is finally realizing, like, I deserve to be nice to myself, I deserve to care about myself, and the thing that will make the situation better is being kind to myself listening to myself, finding out what it is I need, why am I having a hard time, what's missing, you know, like, what kind of self-care is needed, because, I don't know, it's like there's this idea about being lazy, or that you're, like, I don't know, that it's just unacceptable to, like, if you're, ne if you have needs, but, <laughs> or something, if you have needs that are getting in the way of productivity. But it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter if it's unacceptable, like, who decided that? It's only, like, you inside your own head that keeps you from accepting yourself or not. You know, there's no outside thing that can really decide that for you. It's, you know, it's happening, so... You know, obviously it is acceptable if it's real, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and 
it better be acceptable. Like, you better learn to accept it. Oh, because the only way you're gonna get deal with it, just ignoring things that are real, does not help you solve them. Does not help them get better. So, yeah. Sometimes it's still really hard, though. I'm working on it. Definitely helps to have other people that are supportive because most of the time, I would argue all of the time, the reason why you have ideas like about what's acceptable for you or not, regardless of whether it's real, and you think that you have to reject yourself is because people have already treated you that way, so it's reasonable that it's really like a big help in healing yourself is having support the other way like people that don't treat you that way and people that treat you like you're okay it's okay for you to be the way that you are and that they love you the way that you are yeah. that's hard and like a lot of times you have to try to get there part way yourself before you can really find people that will treat you that way you can't it can be other people first because like the truth is that it's you for yourself that has to do the most of it, you know, has to like go, th you know, rework through what's been done to you and be ready to let it in from someone else before it can really help, so, yeah, all right, well, it's that time again, the video has reached 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh, why do I keep being so insecure about my videos being so long? <laughs> but when they're shorter, like the whole rest of the video, I feel like I haven't really got to talk about anything yet. And then I'm like, oh, it's okay, 20 minutes, that's too long. Oh, whatever. <laughs>